Alright, let's try a bit of lunch and meat. We're on the side of the reeds a bit. Cool, so we took it straight away. That was amazing. Hadn't even got to the bottom. Hi, um, I'm on a still water again today. <laughs> I've decided to leave the streams and the rivers for a bit longer. Um, hopefully until some of the weed, weed dies down, if nothing else. Yeah, I've come over to my lo local um, commercial field tent water and um, hope to have a nice peaceful few hours sitting down on the float. Um, couldn't get my favourite spot and couldn't get the second favourite either because it was fenced off. I don't know if they've got a safety problem with the platform or something. but. Um, Anyway, we're here. Um, I won't wrap it on too long. I'm in a spot I've never fished before actually, but it looks quite nice. I've um, thrown a few grains of sweet corn in, plumbed up, etc. So I'm sort of ready to go. And um, we'll see how we go. Um, I've bought sweet corn today, some lunch and meat, and some bread flake. So, oh, also a tin of hemp, which I haven't opened yet, but if things are really slow, I may put some of that in, see if it livens things up a bit. Anyway, just had a long chat with a guy called Ray, who um, was interested in, in what I knew about the water. He's, um, he's a visitor here, so that was quite pleasant. Um, yeah, anyway, so it's uh, time to start fishing. Let's go. Right, let's start off with a bit of corn as I've put some in. I've never fished this spot before. In all the years I've been fishing here, I've never spot fished here. But there's a long reed bed to the left, so it's fairly um, sort of um, protected from disturbance. Something playing around with it already, I think. Got my hardy um, Avon rod again, which is reasonable. Nearly struck me, I didn't. Which is a reasonably powerful rod, because you never know what's going to turn up here. Um, I think I put that off, whatever it was. Intrigued by my float. <laughs> is it food or is it not? It's a grebe, isn't it? It's a young grebe. Yeah, it's totally fascinated by my float. Doesn't quite know what to do about it. Oh, here we go. It certainly doesn't look like a fish. You know, um, Yeah, I think I spooked whatever was playing with my paint. <laughs> it 
So we might jump off soon, it's starting to warm up. It's quite fresh first. Oh yeah. Well I missed that, didn't I? Completely missed that. <coughs> Just making a few small bread pellets to throw in. It's very quiet here at the moment. I haven't heard any fish being brought in, but it doesn't mean to say people aren't catching. Still, it's a pleasant enough place to sit for a few hours. Someone could be landing a fish, there's a lot of splashing going on somewhere. It's probably the guy who's sitting in the spot I wanted fish. <laughs> Let's see if bread makes any difference. The bread didn't produce anything. Back on corn. Um, oops. A bit further than that. Although you can rightly call this a commercial, um, it's not easy. I've had a fair number of blanks here in the past and um, I've had some really good days. Oh dear, well, oh. well I missed that bite and then after missing it the hook got stuck up in a tree but fortunately I've got it all back. Um, but that was on corn. Um, I've just changed my dropper shot a bit, it was quite near the hook. I've um, moved it up the line a little bit because I was thinking perhaps the fish were feeling the, the shot as they were taking the bait. So we'll see what happens. It was a very fast bite, I guess it's roach or rod. The hope is that there are other fish sort of patrolling around the edges and um, something will come along as they say. Strange this place, some days you get bite after bite, and other days <laughs> not a lot. You can tell by the splashes around me that most people are not fishing the margins. Casting out. That's not much is happening. I may um I bought some luncheon meat. I had some luncheon meat left over from a while ago. It's been in the freezer. But, um, I may put a bit of luncheon meat out. It may attract something. As I'm having to wait, I might as well wait for something that's going to be a bit decent. There's a bite, I think. It's weird. Uh, nothing. 
it goes under and nothing. Right, let's try a bit of luncheon meat. Go around the side of the reeds a bit. God, something took it straight away. That was amazing. Hadn't even got to the bottom. Luncheon meat on the way down. Where's the light? Has the hook come out? It's possibly come out. Oh, that is a lovely fish. Took my luncheon meat on the drop. <laughs> That's quite amazing. Come on, gee. Swapped over to luncheon meat. I thought I'd probably just leave it resting there to see if like a carp came along or a barbel if I was lucky. I didn't expect the um, the rod and the roach to be devouring it so willingly. Out and missed a good bite. Problem is, I haven't got a lot of lunch with me. <laughs> I only got half a tin in there from the last time I was out. But I mean, if they do it with lunch and meat, why don't they do it with bread? Like that? Oh well, we carry on while we still got it. Oops, let's try it again. Bit bigger bit this time. Let's see what happens. They certainly seem to have a taste for it. That's a roach. I don't know that. Mm. Yeah, it's another rod, isn't it? Mm, not as big as the last one, but quite nice. Let's Amazing how they take this luncheon meat almost straight away. And that is not a big roach, and it took a big lump of luncheon meat. Oh, it's got caught in my 
hat band or my hat string. Right, let's try a bit of bread, shall we? Taking the lunch of meat, maybe they'll take the bread. No, you see? They're not taking the bread. But they took the lunch of meat straight away. It's weird. What is it about the lunch of meat? Slightly bigger bit of lunch of meat on this thing. Small fish hitting it on the way down, and it. No, it's not so small. Oh, lost it. That's a pity. That was better fish. It's, it's clouded over, which might actually be better for the fishing. <laughs> Rather than that bright sunshine. Still on lunch and meat. I think changing to a 14 hook was a mistake with lunch and meat. But, um, there we go. The rope seem to be going mad for it. I can't hook when always. Oh, this one's pulling like mad. He's really giving me a go. Oh, gee. It's a good fish, I think. Lovely fish. Absolutely lovely. Definitely rod. Upturned bottom lip, red fins. Mm. Mm, beautiful. I'm continuing to feed with hemp seed. But at the moment they Luncheon meat seems to be the go to bait for them. It's really quite amazing how quickly they go for this lunch and me. Nice fish. Really nice fish. Lovely fish, lovely condition. Those fins are a little bit frayed, but sort of mouth-wise, it, it looks fine. Yeah, lovely. Oh, 
Oh, you really go. Well, that's not expected. <laughs> well, I've caught perch on lunch and meat here before, actually. Right. Oh, this is bloody awkward. Cock has sort of been pulled through. That's it. Oh, a bit fiddly. Yeah, a little perch. It was in, it wasn't. Mm, your top lip's a bit damaged, isn't it? Those big splashes give you an idea how most of the people are fishing here. I put a bigger bit of luncheon meat on this time, so hopefully it's a even better fish, but you never know, do you? It's amazing how some of the smaller fish take big baits. It's a nice fish, I mean. Last time, yeah, we lost it. Oh. Yeah, this feels heavier. And yeah, lovely rod. Stop getting this in. There we go. Let's get that hook out of the way. Yeah, yeah, that one's in nice condition. Lovely golden colour. Sun's gone in again, which is quite nice. It's better for the fishing and it's better for me. <laughs> Number of times again, felt the fish. Felt the fish, but Christ, I don't believe that. Bloody hook. 
must have been a weakness in the line. It couldn't have happened any other way. I really don't know what happened on that last strike. Um, the line broke, but it broke above the dropper shot, so it wasn't the hook coming away. And I didn't really feel the fish that strongly. So I'm not sure it was a breakage due to the fish. I think there must have been a kink in the line or a weakness in the line or something because it was ridiculous. Anyway, hook went and shot went. And I've nearly used up all my luncheon meat, so um, I'll have to go to sweet corn or bread and um, see what happens. Finally hooked one. big enough to get it in its mouth I should think really. Mm, right. A ten hook. Obviously took it on the way down that one, the way the float reacted. That was a nice fish. It's another nice run, I can get hold of it. Yeah, it's a nice run in here. This is probably the um, one but last piece of luncheon meat going out. Uh, using quite a small bit of luncheon meat that time because I'm running out. There we go. I've never fished this spot before, so um, I don't know. I don't know whether it's just today or whether it is a s spot where the fish, the carp, don't 
sort of patrol this bit. I doubt that's the case. It's a pity I can't get the spot over there by the way, it's um, it usually works over there. But there we go. So I've just put a fairly big bit of bread down this edge here. I'm holding the float back so it doesn't drift. Something may come along in the next 20 minutes, you never know. Yeah, I think this may be it for today, folks. Um, I'm not really disappointed. It's been a very pleasant day. It's been a very nice day. It's not too hot. Uh, sometimes when the sun came out it got a little bit warm but most of the time there's been sort of fluffy white clouds up there kept it reasonably cool um, yeah it's been pleasant sitting here it's quite a pleasant spot it just um, hasn't yielded what I hoped it would yield there's a lot of splashing over there I think the guy over in the spot I wanted to fish just landing another carp <laughs> But as I say, he's not fishing where I've got to fish, he's fishing out into the lake. So, um, whether I would have caught anything in the margin over there is debatable. My float has been dancing around now for about the last 10 minutes, so it's obviously something so small it can't get the bread in its mouth. So a couple of years ago I came over here and I caught carp and barbel and things in, in the margins. Um, so relatively recently um, I've been successful but I must admit since then um, it's not been so good that cop's out there again circling around. Well, a quick sign off in the car park today. Um, the reason for that is that um, as I was packing up, a guy came and wanted my spot. <laughs> so I couldn't sit there and do a sign off, unfortunately. And the reason he wanted my spot is the lake is absolutely chock a block. There are 24 pitches on this lake and they're all booked or they're all occupied, um, which may be one of the reasons why the fishing was a bit tough today, but who knows. Anyway, I'd, I'd hope for a bit of a mixed bag today. Um, you know, some roach rod, um, possibly the occasional carp, and if I was really lucky, picking up a barbel, but it wasn't to be. Um, it was all rod, um, but some nice rod. Quite surprisingly taking lunch and meat and um, not being too interested in anything else. And I didn't have much lunch and meat, but um, it was a lovely day. Um, reasonably peaceful, considering how many people were around the lake. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's always unfortunate leaving about this time, it's about quarter past, half past three, because you know in the evening these carp are going to come in in the margins just where I was fishing, but I couldn't stay, so um, there we are. Anyway, thanks for watching as usual, and um, thank you for liking previous videos, and thanks obviously to the subscribers. I'm still picking up um, a subscriber or two every, every week, which is great. Um, possibly get back to a river next time. I've, I've been ignoring the rivers the last few weeks and um, possibly go back and see how I get on. Uh, I wasn't doing very well on the rivers, that's, that's why I ended up in um, still water. Um, anyway, so that's it, um, as usual. Um, thanks for watching and cheers. <laughs>